in the enzyme market, enzymes are always being refreshed. The latest iterations are coming out, driving for the technology, improving performance. And that's what we set out to do here. Hello, welcome to another episode of Poetry Nutrition Black Belt. I'm your host, Dr. Fatima Adakari from Mississippi State University. Um, today we have a new guest, and in this episode, he's Dr. Carl Smith. Dr. Smith, welcome to the show. Thank you. Glad to be here. Thank you, Kyle. Um, I'm glad you're here today. And today we're going to talk a little bit about some organic um, NSPs enzymes. Uh, before that, I would like you to please, uh, if you can introduce about yourself, um, what you do for the company Carry, and what's your role right now? Okay. Yeah, sure. So yeah, my name is Kyle Smith. A lot of folks will know me from my time at uh, Texas A&M University where um, did both my bachelor's and PhD in poultry science there. Um, graduated in 2019 and went into the, the allied industry, uh, starting working as a technical manager for Avonic. And the last two years I've been with Cary as a uh, technical account man or a national account manager, um, but really specific for uh, technical enzyme work. Um, that's, that's really my background with uh, with carry supporting our enzyme products cool thank you so so now today we're gonna learn about some some nspas and more than that it's very exciting i, I was very excited to hear myself there's something like organic nspas um, that you all are uh, working on or that you have, have a product do you mind talking about that kind of sharing some of these like um, about this enzyme itself sure yeah so there is actually one or two other organic NSPases on the market right now, um, but they've been out for quite a while and it's, you know, it's, it's time that things were refreshed. In the enzyme market, enzymes are always being refreshed. The latest iterations are coming out, driving for the technology, improving performance. And that's what we set out to do here. Um, it also just so happens that this version of our enzyme is we have a conventional uh, application for it as well, uh, which is very low cost um, and as a single fermentation. The only difference is the organic version is organic in the fermentation, which allows us to label it organic and have our OMRI approval and um, be listed with, within organic production companies. Great. Um, so I was just one, also wondering in this NSP is a combination, and I, I guess there's more than one enzyme. Like, can you tell us, like, at least a type of them? Like, uh, what are they? How many? Yeah, sure. So, so we don't have Nutrixtend Optum. It's not a xylanase. We did not target a xylanase because mm -hmm. it's it's only a, a very specific part portion of the NSP uh, within within the diet, right? Um, we went for a more broad spectrum coverage and release. And that's why we went with a, uh, a endoglucanase and a beta mannanase, a combination there. So really okay. active on cellulose um, and xyloglucans that bind cellulose, which xyloglucans should really be talked about more because it's, it, it, it is a, essentially a cement fibril that binds cellulose together. So unless you can break down xyloglucan, your return with the cellulose or cellulase is going to be very limited. Right. So that that's how I think, I mean, we have seen a lot of product like having a broad category. And I think it's kind of makes sense because you cannot really target for a, a small portion of it. And, uh, and then we, uh, depending on the type of diet, you are throwing a lot of ingredients and they have these, mm -hmm. all these um, properties there, right? So I, I'm t I totally agree on what you all are thinking about this or what you are, have thoughts about this product. Um, I would just also, I also know, and I think everybody knows, and almost all of us know that Kerry has a lot of enzyme and it's kind of known for an enzyme company. Mm -hmm. So can you share like, a, like a, even not about organic, but you know, like some of these major enzymes that you all have or like you're famous for and um, about the company that you can share? So really our, our bread and butter for the last decade and, and more than that even has been AlphaGal. Um, alpha gal has really been a market leader, uh, in, in the right. multi-carbohydrates arena, um, 
just because it's it's got a beta mannanase, it's got an endoglucanase, it's got a pectinase, uh, it's got alpha galactosidase, which is the namesake alpha gal, uh, and it and it's got a xylanase in it as well. Like we're alpha gal is it's it, it's a Cadillac, but Nutrix ten compared to that, it's it's much more low cost and much more uh, much more of your your Honda Accord. Yeah, that's cool. Thank you for sharing about that. So I'll just kind of go, I want to go back to the organic and, and species. And I was kind of thinking to ask you, um, so have you like, um, like a species wise, like have you used these uh, new product, um, organic NSP is um, different species of birds, like a, like a turkey broiler layers or like anything that you have, you can you would like to share with us, like how far you have gone? Yeah, so currently we're working on uh, turkeys and layers, but we've had a lot of success in broilers. Um, the broiler market, right. we've, we've already been put into diets across the country, um, finding a lot of success there. Um, and we expect to have the same success as soon as these trials are over with uh, turkeys and layers as well. And then swine on the other hand, we're still pursuing that. Yeah, so that's great to hear because I, in my knowledge, I do not think I have seen, maybe I have seen and I have been ignored, and I should say that, about organic NSPAs. And I think it's very exciting for research um, group or universities like us to looking forward, like what we can do together with your company. That's great yeah. to hear that you all have this product like that. Um, and maybe yeah. like if you, yeah. Yeah, if you don't mind, maybe like, can you, what have you seen, like what differentiates your organic NSP is that you all have from our com like competition out there in the market and what we are seeing in the field? Anything that okay. you um, speculate? Yeah. Yeah, so, so what we're seeing in our research and also what we've been seeing in the field and what's been reported to us, you know, the, the thing that's separating us from the competition is you know, we, we are able to deliver that this at a, a, a lower price point, which is, of course, always important to producers, right? Um, but it's also a newer technology. Right. And with that, we're able to hydrolyze more of these NSP bonds, uh, bringing more energy, um, which, you know, we haven't done any of the, uh, uh, any of the recovery work or anything like that for like amino acids or anything like like you would get with uh, with an alpha gal, um, but what we are seeing is increased breast right. yields and um, things that go along with that. So, I mean, there there are signs that are pointing towards more than just energy being released here with this enzyme, and that's part of the reason we're able to to capture some of the some of the customers and some of the the success that we've been having. It's not just energy, yeah. At least that's what the data says. Yeah, yeah. No, thanks for sharing. So that's good. So maybe one last question I have um, is that, so are you adding this product like organic NSP is um, on top or are you starting to give some credit about some KCAL for this um, energy amount? Like have you? No, it's, it's, a, it's a good question. And, you know, there's a lot of nutritionists out there that are formulating organic diets and they, they do have a preference either way. Um, of course, we're yeah. recommending uh, with the matrix value, um, and even with the matrix value, we're still seeing a significant uplift and significant improvements in, in yield. The 2023 Arkansas Nutrition Conference Technical Symposium is brought to you by Kerry. Proven on the farm, trusted on the plate. Let our technologies help make your production goals a reality. Learn from the experts how carbohydrates improve nutrient utilization. Gut health technologies differ by type. Innovative ways to feed and a novel technology that will light your performance on fire. See us August 29th in Little Rock. So, I don't know. I, I would recommend the, the matrix value because it's going to save you the most money, of course. Um, especially in an organic diet. But it's not always the case because of limited, um, limited ingredients that you can use. Um, having to use full, full oil, soya, and things like that. They're just flush with energy. A lot of times protein is what's going to be binding you amino acids. And that's, uh, right. we're not a protease. We're not claiming anything like that, but, uh, the data we're seeing, it, it is definitely helping. 
No, yeah, definitely, because um, with my limited knowledge in the which my lab had st has started to work um, a little bit on enzyme side, but uh, for any new product like like this or, or anything, like even going to the matrix value, you have to see what's going to come from a couple of studies and then, then you go mm -hmm. from there. It's always kind of a testing phase. And um, and again, I have the same preference. I mean, I have even used it as on top or if there's a matrix available for boiler diets and I could use it for layers feeding. So I see what you're saying. This is a little like in that phase, it's a little difficult to even decide what to do and what maximum we're going to get out of that product. But I think thanks for sharing this information about organic NSPAs. And I, I think it is going to benefit our, our audience uh, and, and listeners. A anything you want to share about like uh, what do you do in your laser time if you get any time out of your work? <laughs> well, my wall would probably give you a pretty good idea. I, I like the outdoors. <laughs> um, hunting, it's very seasonal. My big thing, living in South Texas, I am an avid fisherman. Yeah. I love getting out on the bay and catching redfish. That's You can find me there on the weekends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. You need to do something. So we're going <laughs> to keep rolling. Thank you so much for joining to this episode, um, Kyle, and I really appreciate your time. And um, any, any, anything you want to say to the audience before we... Yeah, no, uh, thank you for listening to me today. And uh, Pratima, thank you for hosting. I, I really appreciate it and I enjoyed the conversation. Thank you all for listening and uh, I'll see you until next time. Uh, I'm your host, Dr. Pratima from Mississippi State University. And um, don't, do not forget to listen to Poultry Nutrition Black Belt. See you until next time. Bye.